Welcome to Success Talks with Rodney Salisbury. I hope you will support my sponsors who bring you this podcast absolutely free and with limited interruptions. I really appreciate you taking the time to listen. I'll get started in just a second. The reviews are in. The latest book from voiceover superstar and coach Rodney Salisbury is another runaway hit. Readers from all over the world are raving about his newest title, Tongue Twisters and Vocal Warm-Ups. You can find this and his other titles at the top of the voiceover bestsellers list on Amazon.com. Clarence Avant. Music executive Clarence Avant was born on February 25, 1931, in the small town of Climax, North Carolina. He went to school through his junior high years in a one-room schoolhouse before attending James B. Dudley High School in Greensboro, North Carolina. At the tender age of 16, Avant decided to move to New Jersey to live with his aunt and cousin. He began working as a manager at Teddy P's Lounge, owned by Teddy Powell, where he met the blues artist, Little Willie John. Little Willie John was so impressed by Avant that he asked him to be his road manager, and more clients soon followed. Avant was known in the business world as a great deal maker, and in 1968, Al Bell enlisted his help to sell Stax Records to Golf and Western. The deal was finalized for $4.3 million. And we'll be back after this message. Has anyone ever said to you that you have a nice voice and you should get into voiceovers? Well, this is your chance to find out how to do that online in Rodney Salisbury's voiceover online seminar for beginners only. You can find out what it takes to be a voiceover artist. And here's the beauty of this online seminar. You don't have to be there. When you register, you will automatically get a copy of the seminar. Go to my website at rodneysalsbury.com and sign up. The next year, Avant founded Sussex Records. And at the same time, he bought the KAGB FM radio station in 1973. Unfortunately, both ventures closed in 1975. However, Avant had realized his passion for the music business and founded Taboo Productions in 1976. In 1987, Avant helped to promote Michael Jackson's first solo tour, which grossed over $125 million. He was named chairman of the board of Motown Records in 1993, and one year later, Avant worked with a group of other notable African-American investors to create a $20 million investment partnership in South Africa. It was called New Age Beverages. New Age partnered with PepsiCo to build a bottling plant in South Africa, which would be completely run by South Africans. Are you looking for expert advice on advancing your voiceover career? Are you just getting started in the business? Join the Consultants Club and receive monthly coaching on how to read scripts, interpret copy, and get work in the fastest growing business in the world. When you join the Consultants Club, go to RodneySalsbury.com and sign up. And this whole thing about Avant being a deal maker stretched out to many areas. For instance, he found the producers Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, Jam and Lewis, and he got great deals for them as producers. He found out what they were making before him, and he decided that they needed to make a whole lot more. And he made them really big producers in the music industry, producing many great acts that include Janet Jackson and New Edition. Hello, everyone. This is Sean Daly for DailyVO.com. Um, I want to tell you about one resource I highly recommend for vocal warm-ups because it takes out all of the guesswork and it was purpose-built with voiceover in mind. It's called Rodney Salisbury's Tongue Twisters and Vocal Warm-Ups with Other Vocal Care Tips. How's that for a title? So in case you don't know, Rodney Salisbury is a top-tier talented coach, motivational speaker, and author of several books on voice acting including You Can Bank on Your Voice and Step Up to the Mic. The book is available in print and on Kindle, and you can find it at Amazon or Rodney's personal website, rodneysalsbury.com. He also found another great production team in Babyface and L.A. Reed, and he got them great advances and great money, which eventually led to them starting LaFace Records. The fact is, you can find Clarence Avant's name, behind almost everyone that has been successful in show business. Avant, along with Quincy Jones, received the Thurgood Marshall Lifetime Achievement Award in 1997. 
He was awarded an honorary doctorate from Morehouse College in 2003 and received the Living Legends Foundation Award in 2007. In 2010, he was inducted into the NAACP Hall of Fame. He has become known today as the Black Godfather in the music business. In fact, Henry Aaron, the great baseball player who broke Babe Ruth's home run record, said this about Clarence Avant. He played a role in almost 90% of my career. He broke down doors to get me in to do certain things. I always say, I am who I am today because of Clarence Avant. One story in particular talks about the fact that Avant walked into the office of the president of Coca-Cola and without any small talk or pretense, he announced that black Black people drink Coke too. And with that, Coca-Cola made one of the biggest deals in sports with Henry Aaron on October 7, 2016. Avant received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for his contributions in the recording industry. Located at 6363 Hollywood Boulevard, right next to Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis's star. And we here at Success Talks are proud to celebrate the outstanding career of Clarence Avant. You can listen to any of Rodney's podcasts at any time. Go to RodneySalisbury.com. I hope you enjoyed this podcast, and I urge you to listen to future podcasts, where I will continue to try and make you better than before. My goal is to point you in a positive direction to success right here on Success Talks with me, Rodney Salisbury.